Hello everybody, it's Miss Howard and Bridget here. Hello! And we are here again for another installment of our first grade Foundations Phonics Battle Teams lesson. And today, we are focusing on OA, OE, and OW. Some good stuff. So let's get ready. So the first thing we're going to start with is Bridget's favorite part, the I can statement. Because if we say it, we believe it, we definitely can do it. All right, repeat after us. I can read words with vowel teams. And yes, you can, so let's get started. All right, so before we jump into the vowel teams, I know you're excited. We're going to be starting with the warm up, okay? So we're doing some R controlled vowels. This will just help us when we're reading different kinds of words because these vowels are pretty tricky. Actually, I think Bridget said she was going to try and trick you. I, I don't know. Let's let's kind of work on it. Okay. So in the first column here, we have A-R, car, R. Okay. So repeat after me. A-R, car, R. Go. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Moving on to the next one. O-R, horn, or Go. All right. Not bad. Now this last column, you might be looking, you might be saying, what in the world, Miss Howard and Bridget? But it's really quite simple. All three of these R controlled vowels make the same sound. Er, er, and you guessed it, er. Okay? So E R her er. Go. Good. E R. Whoa, Miss Howard got tricked. Be careful. I R bird er. Go. You are burn earn. Go. See, you got it. You didn't get tricked. You tricked me. Pretty good. So R controlled vowel just means that there's an R behind the vowel. And it's really hard to hear A ah or A or O or A. Ah. You really just hear that R. It's really, really strong. So let's practice and hopefully Miss Howard won't get tricked again. Let's go. A R car R. Go. O R horn or go. E R her er go. I R bird er go. You R burn er go. Oh my gosh, what's that? Y'all on fire! Yes, great job. We went through that, no problem. So we're not going to spend too much time on that because that is just our warm up. But if you want, please feel free to rewind the video and go over it again and try to test some people around. All right. So let's get started with what we wanted to do today, and that is our three new vowel teams, okay? So the first vowel team that we have that we're going to talk about is OA. That makes an O sound like the word boat. The next vowel team we have is O and E. That also makes an O sound like in tow. And the last vowel team is OW, but you'll notice there's two pictures and two different words for OW. One makes a O sound like snow, and the other makes an ow sound like plow or ow, I got a boo-boo, okay? So let's start with the first vowel team and do a little bit of practice. O, A, boat, O, go. Good. O, E, toe, O, go. Last two. O, W, snow, O, go. Good. O W plow ow go. All right, not bad, not bad at all. So again, we're gonna practice with these. And if you need some more practice, just rewind the video. No sweat. Here we go. O A boat O go. O E toe O go. Good. O W snow O go. O W plow ow go. Not bad. Give yourself a round of applause. Those are some tricky vowel teams. But whenever you see OA or OE or OW, just know that those two letters make the O sound or in Plow's case, the OW sound. Not bad. We're moving on. Say moving on. Say moving on. All right. So now it's time for some blending practice. Let's look at the letters below and blend them together. So we have a word here, but man, I'm not sure what it is. We're going to say each sound, then at the end, say all the sounds together to figure out what this word could possibly be. 
You ready? All right, let's get started. The first sound that we see is uh, uh, like L, uh, 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 mm, mm. All right, so we've said each of the sounds. Now it's time to put it together kind of quickly so we can start hearing what this word could be. Watch closely. Uh, uh, mm. Uh, uh, mm. Hmm, I think I'm starting to hear lump. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that word before, lump. Okay, so that's all we're doing. So let's see what this next word has for us. Oh snap, Bridget is crafty. She put a new letter at the beginning of this word. So we have to also sound that out. But be aware, friends, that CL is a blend and it makes a cool, cool sound. But for today, we will be blending them up and saying each letter individually. So let's start with the first sound. Can you tell me what sound that makes? Okay, not bad. Bridget, I'm pretty sure they said K -k. Can't trick them. Let's see if they can get this next part. Did you say ooh, ooh? That was so quick. I didn't even have to say anything. Good. So, so far we have k ooh. All right, let's see what we have next. Oh, wow. Yep. Uh, uh, you are on fire, friends. Good. Mmm. Mmm is the next sound. Whoa, you said that so fast. Very, very, very good. So remember, once we sound out all these sounds, we have to put them together quickly so we can start hearing that word and we can read it. So let's see all the letters together and let's see if we can find out what this word is. Remember, you have to say it quickly so you can hear the word. Did, did you just say ump? Very good. Like I said at the beginning, there is a blend at the beginning of this word. Cool, cool. So it won't sound quite like cool, ump, but it will be clump. A little tricky, but you got it. All right, let's move on. Oh my Lord, Bridget, are you hungry? I think she's a little hungry. So this word has something interesting at the beginning of it, and it's called a digraph. So SH is shh, shh. That's what it sounds like. We will not be breaking up S and H. We will be saying them together, one sound. Shh, shh, okay? So keep that in mind because it is your turn. I want to hear you sound out this word. All right, what's that first sound? Good. You remember that SH is a digraph and it sounds like shh, shh, nice. Good, er, er. Okay, I heard eh, eh, the short eye. Very good. Good, that one can't trick you at all. Mmm, mmm. And the last letter? Yup, it's still p, p. So remember, we've sounded out all these letters. We have to put them together and start saying them kind of quickly so that we can hear what this word is all together. Okay, I, I hear some sounding together. All right, good. I think I just heard you say shh or eh. Mm. It's kind of a lot. Let's try it again. Shh or eh. Mm. One more time for good luck. Shh or eh. Mm. See how we're saying it faster and faster? We're starting to hear the word shrimp. Bridget, you must really be hungry. Let's see what else she has up her sleeves. Okay, so this word, again, has a blend and a glued sound at the end, but we can still sound it out. Why don't you try? Bridget, I don't think you can trick them. I hear our friends saying, S-K-A-N-K. Very good. Remember, if you need some more time, just pause the video and take your time. So this word, make sure that you sound it out, but start saying it faster and faster once you have all the sounds together. 
Do you have the word? Are you ready to tell us what it is? Okay, Bridget and I are listening. Sk, uh, unk. Good. Sk, uh, unk. One more time. Let's say it a little quicker. Sk, uh, unk. Skunk. Oh, man. What's that smell? Let's move on. Whoa. All right. Again, we have a blend at the beginning of the word. So be it L, B, but we will be taking it apart. So make sure to stand out each letter. Go ahead. Remember, if you need some more time, just pause the video and take your time. So friends, let me start hearing you sound it all together, but quickly. Yeah, that's it. B -u yeah, one more time. Let's say a little quicker so we can start hearing the word. B -u oh, snap. Do we think we know what this word is? Blast. Whoa, blast off. Let's get out of here. All right, Bridget, I think this is your last trick, and I don't think you can trick these first graders. So start sounding out this word. It does have a blend and a glued sound at the end, but you can take each sound and say them. And remember, start saying them kind of quickly so you can hear what the word is. Good. I think I'm starting to hear my friend say, t -er -a -n -k. if you can start saying that a little quicker together, I think you'll be able to get the word. T -er -a -n -k. T -er -a -n -k. Trunk. Now that word might sound different than what you sounded out because TR is a blend and it sounds like tr, 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 -a -n -k. but nonetheless, we got it. Trunk like an elephant's truck. All right, so we've blended words, we've gone over vowel teams and our R control vowels. We've done a lot today, but we are not done. Our last thing to do is the word of the day. So let's try and figure out what this is because Ms. Howard and Bridget are pretty sure we can trick you. So our first task is to blend this word. We've been doing that, we've been practicing that. You've got this, remember, Say each sound that you see, and once you have all the sounds, put them together quickly so we can start to read the word. So let's start by sounding out the word. Hey, Bridget, I, I think I hear my friend saying s -u -e -p -t. Not bad. Can you say that one more time? Good, good. Let's say it together kind of quickly. S -u -e -p -t. Nice. So we've blended the word. Our first task is done, but now it's time to read the word. Remember, we start saying it quicker and quicker so that we can start hearing what the word is. So let's say it one more time. S -u -e -p -t. Hmm, that's starting to sound like slept. All right. Uh, Bridget, are you awake? Oh, man. So we've blended the word, we've read the word. Now it's time to define the word. That means find out what the word means. So if I were to go to sleep and I wake up, I could say, I had a good night's sleep and I slept like a baby. It's just the past tense of sleep. So if I want to describe someone going to sleep, I might say they slept over there. It's just another way of talking about sleep like this precious unicorn. Okay, now that we've defined the word, it's time for our last task, which is to use it in a sentence. I'll start. Yesterday, my dog slept on his doggy bed. I'll say it again. Yesterday, my dog slept on his doggy bed. So for my sentence, you know that yesterday, in the past, my dog was sleep on his doggy bed. Why don't you try using a sentence? Better yet, write it down and post it to our Facebook. The link will be at the end of the video. All right, friends, we've done tasks one, two, three, and four. You've made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and shout out to my friend Lance and Kindergarten.